So lots of going back and forth, but I think that is, uh, that's all right. It doesn't really bother me too much, but oh, you found my stash. Oh, how dare you? <laughs> how do you know these people didn't just buy it and left it in the shopping cart? It's kind of rude, right? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Allison Cruz. Welcome to Untitled Goose Game. Uh, we're going to be doing this in a single sitting, and uh, this game isn't all that long, but remembering what or what I didn't do is going to be a thing that is going to haunt me. Now, we're going to bust through this fence here, and unfortunately, um, here, let's just, there we go, get that all cleared up. We're going to need to bring a couple more items back this way, and so we're, we're going to be doing a little back and forth, and uh, I think we'll just go ahead and show it. You guys can suffer with me. Suffer, suffer, it don't get no rougher, and uh, life will be good, you know, life as a goose, life as, life as a little goose, life as a, hey, excuse me, that is my flower, actually it was yours, I stole it, I didn't think you would find it, but it belongs to me, Ugh. leave me alone, uh oh, this is bad, this is real bad, no, I'm sorry, <laughs> oh my god, she's chasing the hell out of me, run, goose man, run, <laughs> She doesn't know where she's going. She doesn't know what she's doing. Go, go, into the hole. Oh, no. Oh, I did it. She's like, ah, damn it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, catch me now, bitch. <laughs> well, uh, I guess this is as good a time as I need to talk about uh, what there is to do in this area. We have a man, and uh, we have lots of kind of heckling to do. We have to do more washing, make the man go barefoot. We have to get dressed up as a ribbon. That one's gonna be rough. Uh, and make the man spit out his tea. So, first things first, I'm gonna go down over here. The main thing that you wanna keep in mind about this area is that we're gonna go back and forth between two backyards, and uh, I'm gonna want you to grab that. One of our objectives that is secret is to catch something in midair, and everything from this lady's yard that we bring in is going to be uh, something that is uh, something he's gonna throw over to her yard if it's not his. And in order to get to the other side, I'm gonna pull out this drawer, and there we go. Because every so often, uh, the lady is going to board up that little area that we had just untied. So we can go and take this hat and try it again to catch the thing in midair. So I'm gonna set you, actually, no, no, I want this, and I want your cricket ball. Cause we're in Australia. There we go. <laughs> Dummy. And uh, yeah, without fail, he will just toss everything back over. But after a while, we won't be able to go between them in this little hole. So keep that in mind. Uh, you'll have to go through the broken desk. And catching things in midair is a little bit more difficult than you might expect, but there he goes. We're just gonna have to basically tap B. B, I say, B! Yeah, great catch there. <laughs> oh, statue, that's not what I wanted. Ugh. All right, so we're gonna set this here because we're dressing up this bust with items specifically outside of this area We don't want to use anything here such as his hat or his pipe So I'm just gonna wait right here for a second and Once he kind of plays with his little slipper here, I'm gonna go and yoink that. Thank you And we're actually gonna hide this I'm gonna hide this right over here where he can't get it <laughs> All right, we're good now. We're taking one more trip back uh, for some glasses. The bust is gonna need some pair of glasses, and I, I don't think it necessarily has to be from the uh, shopkeep, but I think we've tortured that child enough. Wouldn't you say? I feel like we've basically traumatized him to uh, any form of fowl or geese, goose variety type swans. We, d we did a bad thing. Look at he's so sad. He's so sad. So, uh, I'm gonna go and grab one of those. That's pretty cool. Look at me. Yeah. I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest in the gang. Oh. Oh, you see me. Oh, this thing. I'm sorry. No. Take it back. Take it back. Run. Run. But also hold the A button. Did she just give up? She was like, eh. I was never sold anyway. <laughs> yeah. Look at me. Look at me waddle. Look at me go. Man, this game. The first time you play this is just, is just so magical. And I feel like it's been long enough since I have played that it is still really nice, but um, I recommend you guys check it out. It's a good deal of fun. Okay, so there is one more thing we need to grab, unfortunately. I'm sorry there's a lot of back and forth, but I'm trying to kill as many birds with only one goose as I possibly can. 
and so that we don't have to backtrack and so we can just you know call it good and that is the soccer ball it has the same physics as the damn cabbage but arguably worse because you can peck it to make it kind of move a little faster but I don't know if that's something you necessarily want to do now this child get away get away go get out of here I don't want to deal with your nonsense all right so we'll just go ahead and yeah here we go play a little bit of the old football pixel is freaking out now I don't know what she's doing uh, we're gonna be careful I don't think you can get this item sold but just in case you can let's just go carefully yeah I prefer you know hitting it with my beak quote unquote but you don't have to you can just like walk it forward if that makes things any easier yeah pixels freaking out I don't know what she's doing there's like we have Christmas lights up and they're not really Christmas lights in that sense they're just little little lights above our mantelpiece above our fireplace which looks kind of nice there's a good ambiance to have which is like trying to jump at it which is weird because that's usually like Ori's thing and now he's sleeping next to me it's usually how it goes oh and because of her actions oh hi I didn't know this was a thing lady I have come to fight you mm. oh, okay sorry my bad <laughs> Uh, uh oh, uh oh, stay away, stay away from my soccer ball. Ooh, go, go! Don't, don't play the game. No, I'm sorry. Uh oh, uh oh. She is the no nonsense shopkeep that we all need. Ooh, all I want is the game. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, some of these missions are kind of annoying, but that's okay because so are we. All right, just gonna keep on hitting you over. There we go. So we don't need to take this too far yet, but this is another item we need the neighbor to toss over to the lady's side. The bohemian woman that she is. So we'll leave this here for now. And Pixel, she is like jumping around. That is absurd. All right, we have his slipper right here, which we'll keep, but we need the glasses, the glasses. So I'll set you right over here. Get your attention so you can see that there are items that do not belong to you on your side of the fence and I'm gonna go ahead and drop this and alternatively there is a vase here this is something that needs to be broken and she is going to take high priority in kicking it out of our beak nice so we'll do the same thing although he didn't notice it you don't see a, a, a pair of glasses on your checkerboard I guess patio here let me leave that there for you I'll leave that there for you and uh, we're gonna grab that other slipper here soon. But first, she's gonna wonder where she kicked that vase to. She's like, huh, could have sworn it was somewhere nearby. And check it out. Uh oh. Gee, I would never have seen that coming. Who would have guessed? Um, eventually, the vase does get fixed, and you could use them bickering over it as a pretty good distraction to do whatever it is you need to do. But I'll take these glasses that did not break. Glasses, please. And we'll set them here so she can do some business with those. Now, while they're working on that, you're just going to have... Oh, you know what? He's going to be sipping tea. This is what you want this for. <laughs> okay, this is good. This is, this is a good argument for them to have. Look at them. Real upset. Real upset about everything. You know what? I'll take that. I will take that. So with the pipe and the glasses and his hat, you can use those to uh, also dress the bust. But we'll get this soccer ball over there. Hope the power doesn't go out, <laughs> you know. And another thing that's annoying about, you know, moving these things is the fact that you usually run over them. But you get caught on, like, all the little bushes. So I'm just gonna... Oh, there she goes. She did it. She did it all by herself. All right. And things from the outside garden. That's the important one. So, can, can you do the thing? Good. Get out of there. Get Go. Go. Kick this way. This way. There we go. I think Ori just sneezed again. <laughs> he has the weirdest human ass sneezes. It's kind of hilarious. All right, let's go slowly. And nope, nope, not with that. I, I do not want that comrade hat. Move it on through here and we'll have him toss it over. So having his cricket bat over here, I think is a good idea for him to notice things. And now that that's done, uh, we have to get dressed up with a ribbon. And we have to make him go barefoot. Okay, this might actually be a little, little tough. Getting him barefoot is not nearly as difficult as you might think it to be. But 
that's okay. Uh, we need some distractions. So let's drop this and uh, bust our old friend out of here. No, no, I need the ribbon. Ah, oh, this is bad. Oh, soccer ball, cool. Definitely belongs to her. Uh, let's do this. Go, 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 this way. I'm gonna take all of your things, make you real upset about it. What did what did she fall on? And where did you put your, th huh? Oh, you put it over here for some reason. I don't know why you would do that. Well, we're gonna hide hide our old friend here, the goose. I'm busting you out of here, pal. I've seen the way she's been taking care of you, and I will not have it any longer. So, sure. Oh, you know I have it. Okay, apparently I'm the, the loudest dragger of all time. Uh, here, let's grab this. Because we need the ribbon that was on this thing. Oh, she does not care about that whatsoever. There we go. Just let me go ahead and... Uh, just let me grab it. Let me take it. Give it to me. It's my friend. Oh, there she goes. She does not care. Alright. Ugh. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, these stone, like, little bricks out of the ground are, like, resistance. It's so annoying. I'm just gonna harass my way over there. <laughs> you just yoink. Oh, and soap. Hope she slips on it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm taking it over. Perfect. Okay. Hopefully he does not notice that. She's very confused. Okay. Uh, stuck. Thank you. So getting things washed is probably the most annoying mission in this entire game, I'm not gonna lie. But, there we go. Okay, so we need to pose here for a second. Oh, but the thing fell. But wait, but wait, your little goose friend needs a little ribbon. Just, just a little ribbon. Just a little ribbon. Here we go. Please, please don't think that I'm real. Here we go, here we go, yeah. So it's at this point that I think, no to-do list. Interesting, all right, well let's take a look. We still have to make the man go barefoot. That's actually pretty easy. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, okay, all right. We'll get there. Later days, I have bigger fish to fry. He's real upset about his lack of a newspaper here. It's kind of incredible. So here, let me help you out. And, ugh, so if you get grabbed, Unfortunately, you lose your ribbon, and uh, he wants nothing to do with it. Oh no! Don't don't take my ribbon! No, not the ribbon, because you actually need this ribbon for a future quest, and uh, we'll probably end up losing it. But that's fine. So we're gonna make him go barefoot. I think that's the best course of action. And the way to do this is while he's sipping tea, uh, he is going to yeah he's gonna have his little. His little son, oh, damn it. Dude, drink your tea. There's a lot of alternating you need to wait for. Like, you have the boy who alternates with his toy plane and with his soccer ball. You have this man who alternates his feet by reading a newspaper and drinking his tea. So, there's a bit of waiting involved in some of this. Ori, can you stop scratching the floor? And in the next one, there's a guy playing darts and, uh, you know, playing a harmonica. So, lots of things that we have to alternate with and wait be a little patient. But I do appreciate just hanging out here. Dude, your tea is on the floor. Just pick it up. You're the one who knocked it over. Okay. So, just here, grab your tea. Or grab the newspaper. I'm gonna go run over here. And I'll put it back for you, you lazy bastard. There you go. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> we just need to wait. And speaking of which, I think I will take a little drink have some coffee here just kind of hanging out but yeah this being the third out of four areas um makes for a very short game but figuring this out for the first time is just it's always a joy and then replaying through it i think even a second time is really fun so ori is now jumping up on the table and he's gonna switch to his tea i hope sometime here soon come on come on man I don't think honking will help anything. If you try to honk while he's sipping his tea, that's not going to help either. Oh, is she going to start harassing him? Let's go and wait, wait, and 
Oh, oh, he sees me. I'm sorry. Drink your tea. Drink it up. There we go. Oh, there we go. Later days, nerd. I got your slipper. It only took me 10 minutes. 